When we see to the sculptures of ancient India we often see that women's breasts were uncovered. This practice has changed with passing times and ages. While during earlier period from very ancient times of Ajanda and Ilaur caves and since Mughal period women were found not covering their breasts. They did not even wore blouses with the saris. They left their breasts freely and led their representation with minimal clothing. We can observe this from the sculptures of the Maurya and Sangha periods about 300 BC men and women wore rectangular pieces of fabric, on the lower part of the body and one on the upper part. Although the modesty time has varied from time to time and from different periods and different places and different religions also. We can speculate that India's climatic conditions has led them to do so and they wear what they wanted to as per their comfort. It was accepted as a norm in many parts of the country. Before the Muslim conquest of India, many women belonging to lower class or middle class went topless whereas the upper class women were fully covered. But with the conquest of the country by the Muslims, the Chnaj has made several times and this norm was vanished. With the influence of Muslim empire in the country, the garment industry gave birth to salwar kameez which we can primarily see the most common garments for women in the country now. This practice continued during the Mughal Empire. It was with the British rule that the term blouse was launched and flourished in India and then came the notion of wearing blouses as tops and used with saris.